Hey everyone, it's Brittany Christina here of the Brittany Christina Collection. If you are new here, I am a luxury women's wear designer based in Maryland. Thank you for stopping by my channel and happy new year to all of you. Virtual hugs for everyone, y'all. I wish you all peace and blessings all throughout 2021. Um, I'm carrying that type of energy for me. 2020 was a hot mess and I'm gonna get into what's been going on in my world and what's been going on with me in future videos. But today we are starting off the new year with an updated design studio tour. So with it being a new year, I felt the need to just refresh my space. Um, I'm gonna be taking you guys behind the scenes on how I'm building a luxury brand. And so part of that is actually living out that, you know, luxury lifestyle. And so I wanted to carry these luxe vibes everywhere. So I'm excited to show you all my space. Let me know what you think. If you like it, be sure to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, and yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first um, is my ottoman. So my ottoman is the same. Um, I think I got this ottoman from Marshalls. Um, so the ottoman did not change, but I did update the pillows that are here. And I have this blanket that I did get from Christmas. Um, I always have blankets like everywhere around this place because I always get cold, but I wanted to change the colors. So I'm kind of going with this neutral rose gold um, color scheme here. So yep, I just updated this and I got a new pillowcase and that pillowcase is from Amazon. It's actually velvet and it's super, it's, I love the color and the shade. Next, I'm gonna take you to my actual desk, which I'm obsessed with. So. First thing is the chair. The chair um, isn't new since the last time. I got this chair from Wayfair, but I think it's also on Amazon, so I'm gonna link it. And then again, another throw blanket and pillow because comfort is super important to me, especially working. I do sit down a lot for my day job and then also sewing, so um, definitely need comfort here. And then we're moving on to my desk. So, um, since 2020, I've had to work from home. For those of you who don't know, I do have a day job. So I'm actually an e-commerce manager for a luxury beauty company. So, um, you know, I'm sure, pretty sure throughout the tour, you'll see a lot of beauty products. Um, I get that from work. So I did, some of this on my desk is a mixture of like work stuff and, you know, also my sewing stuff. So I got this black, um, shelving unit i guess from amazon i really love it because it's actually two pieces here and you can i mean there's so many different ways that you can organize this or sit this on top of your desk and then decorate it so i just have it in this crisscross type of pattern if i find a picture i can kind of i'll post it here but i'll definitely add the link i love this this is definitely a must-have from um, amazon that i found so if you're looking for a way to save some some desk space but also you know be able to utilize some of the shelving and, and decor this is a great way to kind of stack up as opposed to across so this is great here I do have some books so I did I was deciding whether I wanted to stage this a little bit for you guys and put like you know fashion books or whatever but I you know I'm really this year I'm all about keeping it real keep it authentic I didn't want to put, put any books here that I'm not reading so these are all of my current reads um you have Becoming you have Crushing by T.D. Jakes Wholeness and some YouTube secrets so honestly these books this is pretty much the season I'm in I'm really in the process of becoming whole and, you know, being able to be the best version of myself. And so, yeah, these are my current reads. I'm, I'm so excited. Um, I read all the time and I can't wait to show you guys my full book collection. But yeah, we have some candles here. Um, I've been on this 
I have so many candles in my place, it's ridiculous. But this is my favorite scent at the moment, Champagne Toast. I have like two of these candles, it's so good. Um, and we just have like a little decor here. And I could think I got that from Marshalls as well. Some hand lotion. Have um, Ralph Lauren, this is a coffee table book, which I will dive into in another one of my videos. And this cute plant, which I got from Target. This is actually new. So I did not have this the last time. I got, um, I had to get a new sewing machine. All of my sewing machines completely broke, like at the same time. Um, and it cost an arm and a leg to fix. So I was like, I'll just buy another one. And I love that this is black. So this I actually did get from Amazon and it works pretty well. So I will link that below. This is a cute little holder. I'm not sure if this was meant to be a planter or I don't know, just a cup. I'm using it right now as just like a pencil holder, I guess you can say. And then I have my scissors in here, but um, I was originally gonna use it for my makeup brushes. But yeah, it's one of those pieces that you can use for anything. And I like that it was white. And then this is my computer where I do all my work. Um, and then you just have my laptop and my planner. So that is what is currently on my desk, okay? Then we'll start to move up a little bit. So this, um, I don't know what to call this. I'm gonna call it a thread holder because that's what I'm using it as. I had this before and it was just like in its wooden color. I actually painted this black because I wanted it to match the aesthetic that I was going for. Um, so that was a cute little DIY project. I did not record that because it's just paint, y'all. So. <laughs> um this i did have before but it was not framed and so i was like let me actually frame this this is a publication this is one of my very first publications as a designer um when i was in college so this talks a lot about my first fashion week when i did um i showcased my brand in dc fashion week definitely one of my proudest moments so i definitely want to get that frame so it doesn't mess up because this is my only copy of this at this point um we then have this calendar as you can see this is my content calendar y'all i've been doing a lot of batch content 2021 i'm gonna be coming with the youtube videos okay i'm not playing with y'all one video every week for the entire year okay it is not a game so i got this from target actually and i love i don't know why i've really been on this like black and white thing like i just think it's so classic to me so i have even throughout my house there's a lot of like black white with like a pop of color this i did have before as well if you want to check out my studio tour um again i'll link it but this is a cork board it was originally wood um just like you know a regular neutral wood color or natural wood color and i painted the edges black also just to match the aesthetic that i'm going for here then at the top of my gallery wall this is a DIY painting. Um, I did film this, and so I'll drop this in a couple weeks, but I actually painted that yesterday. Um, it was very, very quick to do, um, and I had like an extra canvas, so why not? This is my logo, which story behind this, I actually created this off of Photoshop. I wish I would have recorded that because, um, so that y'all could see my process, but I did, I did this, the reason why I did this myself is because, I mean, the people that I went to to get quotes for, to do just a logo, I mean, they were really charging an arm and a leg. And y'all, with the free free trial of Photoshop, um, I was able to do this and get exactly the look that I was going for. So, I love my logo, had to have it on my wall. And then this, I believe, um, my high school graduation party, I actually got this, um, caricature is that what it's called got this done with me and it says we gotta nail this design for fashion week and it's crazy because i actually showcased in new york fashion week four years later after i had that picture done so it was cool so yeah this is my gallery wall which i am in love with
So over here I have my mannequins. Um, honestly, I don't really change my mannequins that often. They typically stay, cause I like, you know, the color palette that I have going on here. So I typically keep these dresses on these mannequins. Um, I also have some filming equipment here with my ring light and then I guess phone holder, I guess you can say. So over this way, I have um, a nice little background canvas that says she's going places and I have a rack. So this rack, I pretty much use to hold my collection pieces. So any pieces that I'm working for, whether it be past or upcoming future collection pieces. So a lot of these are for my latest bridal collection. Um, and so I just keep them on this rack <laughs> just so that they can be displayed. So this is me. If y'all are interested in my outfit, um, this jacket is from Black Tape. One of my favorite, favorite jackets. Um, and these pants are probably from Target, to be honest. So, hair on fleek. Ugh. My hair. Yeah. So I also have this mirror um, and this runner. It's a fluffy runner, it's gray. I really like it, it's super cute. Um, but the mirror, there's not really a story behind that. But I do wanna show you this guy here. So I mentioned before that I work at a beauty company. Um, so I do get a lot of products from the brands that I work with. So this is something that Orbe gifted to me. Um, it's this huge oversized hairspray, I guess you can say. And when you open it. So I did not use these, but when you open the large can, you get three smaller hairspray cans. And I believe this was for their, um, it was a part of their anniversary collection. So this was pretty cool getting this. Um, <laughs> you know in the mail in the office um, and so it's a nice little nice little keepsake So next we have my book case over here. So at the top um, is I really just, I'm low key running out of storage. <laughs> so I have so much stuff that I've accumulated over the past like year since I've been here. But um, I mentioned before that I do have like a lot of beauty products. So at the top here, those are some of the beauty products that I got from work. I don't want to necessarily take it down and open it because those boxes are super heavy there's so much stuff in them um but there's yeah i have a box for and i didn't label them but i have a box for hair care i have a box for skincare and i have a box for makeup and then those are these are two kits from glow skin beauty um their products are amazing if you have not heard of them going down to my first shelf here i do have um one of my prize and joys, this is an award that I received from completing the Fashionpreneur Academy. Um, this was an amazing 12 month program that I invested in back into 2018, which has truly like, you know, helped in changing the foundation of my business. So, uh, so many good times. I'll actually link to um, the fashion preneur retreat where I got this award. So feel free to check out that vlog um, and see my experience there. 
this is a book palette it is the beauty bible for women of color i actually just got this um and it's crazy because because i work in the beauty industry um i absolutely love this book it's crazy because when i first started working at my job i I mean, knew nothing about. I didn't really have a beauty routine. I didn't have a skincare routine. My makeup routine was so basic. And so um, I definitely had to learn along the way. But this book is so good. I mean, it shows you so many different um, products, you know, that are good for different skin types. And it's just really good. So if you're interested in beauty um, or even like a beginner, and you just want to know like what products should you be using, um, especially if you're a woman of color, I definitely recommend getting this book so good this is an nk purse that i got that i love it's one of my favorite purses um then on this shelf we have um over here so we have the study or the bible study um love 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 this book i'll be doing a review on this book in future videos um i got this decor it's like a basket well it is a basket i have no idea what to put in it yet so i just kind of left it here but i fell in love when i saw it so i was like i have to i just have to get it um black girl magic wines oh my goodness if you have not heard of mcbride sisters you are missing out i was actually gifted these bottles of wine but um for my birthday and i decided that i was not gonna drink it until i actually have a black girl magic moment <laughs> so um i'm i'm looking forward to hopefully drinking one of these or opening one of these bottles this year so i'll i'll get back to y'all on that um we just have some patent leather shoes here another mk bag house of cb box which is one of my favorite brands and then some store wiseman booties um we have additional storage i would open it but it's a little scary in there Here we have another mannequin um, and another clothes rack. So this rack that I have is more so for clients. So if I have, you know, custom garments that I'm working on, I'll normally put them on this rack. And also I have some of my own clothes. I mentioned before, I've been doing a lot of batch content in terms of, you know, filming of YouTube videos. So I'll have like, you know, change of, clothes on standby in case I'm filming more than one video in the same day and I also have another mannequin here so I do also have a light box I guess that's what you call it um so whenever i'm filming this is actual like you know professional lighting kit so i will be doing a review on the set that i got um i have multiple of these and actual backdrops which came from amazon which is has been really godsend so i will do a review on that later but yeah this is my place everyone it is updated um to have more of a lux type of vibe to it so i hope you all have enjoyed my tour um i can't wait to make magic in this place and yeah i will see you all next week for my next video if you like it feel free to like subscribe and leave a comment let me know what you think about the new setup and i'll talk to you guys next week